The Energy Independence and Security Act passed in December of 2007 and included major provisions for improving the minimum required energy efficiency in integral horsepower motors. The new minimum requirements take effect in 2010 at the end of the year. Uh, the major changes from earlier energy policy include an increase in the minimum efficiencies required for integral horsepowers 1 through 200 horsepower, general purpose motors that were included in the earlier 1997 efficiency improvement standards, and these now go to a NEMA premium minimum efficiency level, eliminating the former EPAC level. But in addition, they passed two other major provisions, one of which goes from the 200 horsepower through 500 horsepower, bringing these up to a minimum of EPEC efficiencies, many were below that, and also all of the special purpose motors that had been excluded from the earlier legislation and rules are now included, which includes all the vertical pump motors and so on. This applies to motors that are in equipment and motors that are sold in the United States or to be installed in the United States.